was an undercurrent of anxiety at the NATO annual meeting in Paris, though Dean Rusk and Peter Thornycroft produced smiles. The retiring Supreme Commander, General Neustadt, and Western Germany's Herr Schroeder and Herr Merkatz welcomed the new Commander, General Hutzinger. But overshadowing all was the news that Britain is now unlikely to get Skybolt for her V-bomber force. Hence, the Anglo-French paratroop exercise in the Garonne Valley took on added interest, for in the field of conventional warfare, the European powers are indispensable. Nearly 600 men with varied equipment and heavy guns were skillfully employed in the successful manoeuvres. presidential estate of Rambouillet, Mr. Macmillan was the guest of General de Gaulle. They discussed the common market, as well as the new defence situation created if there is to be no skyboat. In Washington, before leaving to meet Mr. Macmillan, President Kennedy told a press conference why he wishes to stop the manufacture of skyboat. Without that missile, asked one reporter, what will be Britain's defence role? Well, I think it... Uh will play a uh, significant role as a nuclear power. The problem with Skyboat is it's the most sophisticated weapon imaginable. To fire a missile from a plane moving at high speed uh, to hit a target a thousand miles away requires uh, the most advanced uh, engineering and, the re and of course uh, uh, it has been uh, really in a sense a uh, kind of engineering that's been beyond us. We put a half a billion dollars into it already. To complete the system uh, might cost another and to buy the missiles that we would want, which might require two and a half billion dollars. Press men everywhere wonder how the President and Prime Minister will work out the tremendous problems. 